The great attraction of Westminster is, in a sense, it's the real home of liberal education. And what distinguishes Westminster is its lack of pretension, it's down to earth, it encouraging intellectual curiosity amongst the pupil body to question, to debate, and to really be their own person. One of the features of Westminster is that we're a boarding school, and that's very unusual in the heart of London. And we run as a boarding school, we operate an extended day and extended week, and that gives us huge benefits for all the pupils, both boarding and day. And that means we attract pupils, of course, from not just London, but from across the country and across the world. Westminster is a school for boys only for the first three years. We expand in the sixth form years. We bring in girls and some new boys as well. So about a third of the upper school are girls. And because of the cosmopolitan nature of London, the cosmopolitan nature of our pupil body, we're naturally outward facing. And it's a wonderful thing that we have pupils who will go off to all parts of the world to study. We are genuinely committed to being a school for everybody, irrespective of parental means, widening access as far as possible. And that fits squarely also with the fantastic work that we're doing with the Harris Westminster Sixth Form across the road, where we're trying to replicate a Westminster-style education in the Sixth Form for people who will benefit. The thing that has absolutely bowled me over in my what is now my fourth year at Westminster is the extraordinary sense of community that makes it a very special place in which to live and work. And what also makes us so unusual is that we're a school of individuals, young men and young women who know their own mind and who are going to go out into the wider world and to really make a difference. So right at the heart of Westminster is a commitment to service in the true sense of the word. It is a remarkable place.